Hi, this is Pitluni and it's Villa Friday. Today I will share with you the contents of my backpack that I brought to the Hackaday Supercon. So let's take a look what the airport security had to handle. So in this laptop bag I have only my electronics. I have another small backpack with all the clothes for uh, two weeks. And so let's take a look inside. Here in the front. Okay, so this is for my chip done. Then we have sunglasses. I was very optimistic coming here. As you can see, it's not yet that hot. Then we have some conversion from European plugs to US plugs here. Then a USB 3 hub. And then, whoops, that was my Bluetooth mouse. Oh, I found a few Bitluni badges. Okay, that was the small compartment in the front. Let's take a look in here and that's oh, where, where it got really interesting at the airport security. So, uh, yeah, <laughs> uh, this is obviously something that looks like you could build a bomb. And there is another bag and another bag. So in this bag, let's start with this. I have uh, yeah, some boards that I can trade or share or whatever. Uh, we have and these uh, mini console boards. I made like six of these. So there's, they are not for sale yet uh, and I will just, if someone's interested at a Supercon, I will share with them. Then I have obviously some killer badges that are left from Halloween. Then I have my uh, VGA boards. So I brought five of these with um, some pre-programmed um, mini kit, ESP32, with pre-programmed with the faster ray tracer that, will, that I will also show on the presentation that I'm giving on Sunday. And I have also like uh, these small badges that I will make maybe a video on as well. I might have one that's, that's soldered. So this is a small kit. It's only some blinking LEDs on green PCB since uh, these are uh, assembled by JLC. Okay, that was um, one bag, only badges and boards. Then we have here some tools. I have here a mini tripod from Ali. It was less than a dollar or a dollar or something but it's really compact. Then I have VGA, VGA cable. Um, then my trusty multimeter. That's really small. That's really handy for like, like this small bag here. Um, two controllers. I wasn't able to take more. I uh, wanted to take more for uh, the boards that I will give away, but um, or or share or trade or whatever, um, but it wouldn't fit in my bag. It had to be uh, like flat, 15 centimeters flat, um, so I could take it with me on the plane. And then we have some probes for the multimeter, USB cable, uh, audio cable, then. Um, flashlight and this adapter, charging adapter for car. It's a really compact one. Tweezers. <coughs> and this bag here. So let's take a look what's, what's in here. Oh yeah. These are 80 tiny microcontrollers. So these are not programmed since I uh, yeah, these are for for the 
for the badges here, but I didn't implement the, since I did, this arrived like two days or three days ago, I didn't implement um, sleep mode yet to conserve the energy and I have to pr program them here if I want to give this away. So these are the 80 tinies. Next thing, uh, more adapters for US. Then we have my mini console. Brought this with me. Then some assembled uh, mini kit, ESP32 boards um, to show off maybe if someone's interested the VGA board here. This is VGA Black Edition. That still can be bought on my shop. Then we have um, another assembled mini console without the Husa 32. Then we have, um, yeah, oh, the resistor is missing. Where's my resistor? So this is for programming uh, the 80 tinies. Another ESP32. Then we have the VGA white edition. Yeah, that's actually uh, similar to the black edition, but it has line out and is completely surface mount assembled and a lot smaller. Um, that's not, I it didn't show it yet. Um, then, oh yeah, here's the, my assembled green badge with some programming wires to debug. Then, short USB cable, then few jumper wires. I have female to female and male to male. Then killer badge. This is the battery in since I have a switch on. Where's the button? Yeah. <laughs> then we have, whoa, another VGA board. This was the first, first edition. The, um, it was green, it was much larger. Then I have some coin cell batteries. And here's a tiny Pico VGA. I would need a helping hand. And last but not least, uh, that that's one of the, that's an USB powered um, soldering iron that I got from AliExpress since I want to do like a series where I test different cheap as uh, soldering irons. This was the most expensive of the soldering irons that, that I ordered and uh, it was $17 <laughs> and I took it with me so I can maybe test it while I'm traveling. It's a nice opportunity <laughs> and we will see if it is any good. It's only 10 watts, so it's one tenth of the power of my usual soldering iron. Then there is this, uh, the resistor that's missing for the programmer here. A little bit of solder and yet another. This is the mini USB cable for the nano programmer. And the last two boards here, these are the mini PC, ESP32 mini PC boards that I will also maybe show off or, or share or, or uh, talk with other people about on the conference here. Okay, but there is more. We have yet uh, a keyboard, Bluetooth keyboard, my laptop. And then we have a camera. I'm filming this with my mobile phone. I have also a microphone here that I took out. Inverter. So if we rent a car, we have something to charge and power the laptop and so on. 
then another USB charger, another USB power supply, then obviously uh, AV cable for my mini console, that's really long. Oh yeah, screwdriver. Um, charger for the camera and some buttons, Bitcoin buttons <laughs> and a classic notebook with a sketch for a new badge or something <laughs> and a pen, multicolor pen. There is another compartment here and there is power supply for my laptop. Okay, that was all from my bag. What do you think was the most problematic thing at the AirPod security? You probably guessed it right. It was the tweezers. They got a really pointy tip, but the security let me keep it. But I didn't bring any flux, unfortunately. It has acidic contents and I was unsure if that would cause any problems. That's all from me. I'm heading now to the first event of the day and I see you next time. Bye.